What's happening? It's Sir William, and today we're going to be talking about tires. The Toyo Open Country RT Trails. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name's Will. This is Apple, my 2015 Toyota 4Runner. And for nearly 10 years now, I've been overlanding and off-roading in Apple all across the United States. And for the past three years, I've been living right here in the back of Apple full-time as I travel around. I invite you to go check out some of the videos of those adventures on my channel. But today we're talking about tires specifically. Now, just like the other tire reviews that I've done in the past, this one's going to be a little bit different than the tire reviews that you're used to seeing on YouTube. Usually what you see on YouTube is a guy gets a brand new set of tires, he goes out there, he runs it through a few little tests here and there, and then he gives you his review on there. To me, you cannot get an honest review of a tire unless you put at least 20,000 and ideally 40 to 50,000 miles on a set of tires. So that's what I've done with these Toyos. The other key difference between my reviews and other reviews on YouTube is my primary method of travel is off-road. Extensive off-road use. That's what I like to do. That's how I like to travel. So that's how I use the tire. I want to start this review off with full disclosure. In the past, I've bought every tire that I've tested with my own money, and I've never ever been obligated to any company to give them a positive review. With that said, after my review of the Toyo Open Country MT, Toyo reached out and asked if I would like to try out the RT Trail, to which I replied I would, however I would not have any obligation to give them a good review. They agreed to that and they sent me this set of tires, so this set of tires was provided by Toyo for my honest opinion and feedback on a long-term tire review. You'll see in this video that I'm going to give you my honest opinion about the goods, the bads, what I like, what I dislike, and if I would recommend these tires for you. Now if you're anything like me and you're kind of impatient, and you want to skip right to the part of whether or not I would or would not recommend these tires, let me go ahead and tell you. I would likely not recommend these tires for you. It's kind of complicated though, so allow me to explain. Over the years, I've ran multiple different size, style, and brands of tires on Apple here. My favorite one to date for off-road tire is a Toyo Open Country MT, and my favorite one to date for a good all-around tire is the BFG KO2. So I'm going to be comparing these Toyo Open Country RT trails to those two tires. Now the Open Country RT RT Trail is kind of designed to be both of those tires all in one package, which to me is really hard to accomplish, and I just don't think that they've done it with the RT Trail. The Toyo Open Country RT Trails that I got were a 255-80-17 with a load range of E, and the 255-80-17 is a skinny 33-inch tire and is my favorite size configuration for the 5th Gen Toyota 4Runner. Many folks will see what I put the tires that I run on Apple through, and they'll say that I just flat out abuse them, and I probably wouldn't disagree with them. With that being said, though, every set of tires that I I've ever ran and reviewed for this channel have been rotated every 5,000 miles like they're supposed to in order to get the maximum amount of longevity out of them. And I say that to tell you that this set of tires has gone through no additional abuse or less abuse than any of the other sets of tires that I've reviewed throughout the years on Apple. Now I'm going to rank these tires on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best on all the different surfaces that I ran the tire on, and at the very end I'll give you my final score as well as tell you my final opinion on the tire. The very first category for the Toyo Open Country RT Trails is pavement. Now, pavement is the least of my concerns whenever it comes to picking up a new set of tires for Apple. I'm far more interested in the off-road performance, the strength of the tire, and the longevity of the tire. And I must say that my experience with pavement and your experience of pavement might be completely different. Apple is a dedicated off-roading overlanding rig with 230,000 of quite possibly the hardest miles ever put on one of these platforms. I say all that to say she ain't gonna ride smooth and quiet down the road no matter what tire I put on her. So again, my experience on pavement, your experience on pavement might be two total different things. Also, just about any and all tires that you pick out there today are gonna perform just fine on the pavement. On pavement, I'll give the Toyo Open Country RT Trail a 10 out of 10, and here's the reason why. As far as balance and smoothness goes, I never had any issues. There were no abnormal noises. It didn't make any kind of loud roaring or anything like that. It performed well on wet pavement, performed well on dry pavement, and again, it was just a nice, smooth tire on the pavement. So, 10 out of 10 on pavement. The next surface we're going to talk about is sand. Deep sand, loose sand, fine sand. Think beach, think sand dune. Something that you're going to have to lower your air pressure in order to drive on. And I typically lower down to 8 and 12 PSI when I'm on this type of sand. 
for this type of sand, I'm going to give the Toyo Open Country RT Trail an 8 out of 10 ranking. And the reason is, is because I found that the RT Trail liked to dig down into the sand and did not provide as good a traction as some of the other all-terrain tires that I've had in the past. In fact, I even got stuck in multiple different places, even at that 8 PSI of pressure. So again, I'm giving the RT Trail an 8 out of 10 rating whenever it comes to deep, fine, loose sand, something like a beach or a sand dune. The next surface I'm going to talk about is dirt and gravel roads. Think of a really nice dirt road, a finely graded for a service road, logging road, the road leading up to your favorite off-road trail or hiking trail. And with the 20 plus thousand miles that I put on the Toyo Open Country RT Trail, 80% of the time I was on roads just like this as I overland across America doing trails like the BDRs, adventure trails, and all kinds of various off-roading trails throughout the nation. With this type of surface, I'm going to give the Toyo Open Country RT Trail a 7 out of 10 and let me explain to you why it's so low. Now the RT Trail didn't have any issues when it came to traction on this style road. It did want to break loose a little bit around higher speed turns but that's kind of to be expected and it's the same thing that I experienced with the other all-terrain tires that I tested as well. What I didn't like about the Toyo Open Country RT Trails across the dirt and gravel roads was the durability. Again, I tested these tires for 20,000 miles and 80% of that time I was on this dirt and gravel style road. And what I found was at the 20,000 mile mark, there was a whole lot of chipping and cutting on the tire. Now this is to be expected and I've witnessed this with other tires, but I have not ever witnessed it at this low of mileage. For instance, the Toyo Open Country MT tire, that didn't happen until somewhere around the 45 to 50,000 mile mark. On the General Grabber ATX, that didn't happen until somewhere around that 40 to 45,000 mile mark. And on all the BFG KO2s I've ran, I've not experienced this until somewhere again around that 40 to 45,000 mile mark. The Toyo Open Country RT trails, however, I noticed a lot of chipping and cutting right off the bat with these tires. And at 20,000 miles, I was pretty disappointed with how they look in comparison to how some of the other tires that I've had have looked at the same amount of miles. So that's why I give this tire a 7 out of 10 rating. The next surface that I'm going to talk about is rocks. And during my 20 plus thousand miles with the Toyo Open Country RT trails, I ran on the rocks from Baja, California, all the way up to the Canadian border in Montana and everything in between. Big rocks, small rocks, wet rocks dry rocks. I think you get the idea. The only rocks that I did not get to test the RT trails on was the rocks like what you find out in Kentucky, Tennessee, and the Appalachian region of the United States that are normally slick, slimy, wet rock. And the closest thing that I had to compare it to would be the San Juan Mountains of Colorado during the summertime. On a technical rocky trail, typically I'm going to run anywhere between 16 and 22 PSI of air pressure. And this is going to provide good traction. It's going to provide a smooth ride and it's also going to provide enough rebound of the tire to prevent any kind of a pinch flat. On the rocks I have to give the Toyo Open Country RT Trail a 6 out of 10 rating and realistically I feel like that's being generous. The sole reason that I'm giving it such a low rating is the strength and durability of the tire. You see for nearly 10 years I've been running Apple in all types of terrain all different types of tires, and I have never punctured a sidewall. With the Toyo Open Country RT Trail, I punctured sidewall twice. The first time I was running at 18 PSI in the Arizona desert near Lake Havasu, Arizona, and the second time I was running right around 1920 PSI on Elmagene Pass in the San Juan Mountains of Colorado. Now, the very first time in Lake Havasu, I wasn't doing anything crazy, and I didn't, you know, brush up against a rock, I didn't hit a rock on the side. I simply just went over the rock and it was a little bit bigger than the other rocks on the trail and it just immediately blew out the sidewall. So I'm not really sure what happened. I kind of chalked that up to maybe it was just a fluke on that one tire. The second time in Colorado could have been my fault. It was a little bit of a tighter trail. So it was quite possible that I hit a rock that I just didn't see with the sidewall. Regardless of whatever caused the sidewalls to blow, I've never had this happen on any of the other tires that I've ever tested using the tires the same exact way that I use these and the very first time I might have would have just chalked it up to a fluke but having it happen two different times mixed with the fact that I just didn't get the same strength durability and 
longevity out of the tire makes me think that it's got to be a problem within the tire itself. Therefore, I rank it a 6 out of 10 whenever it comes to rocks. For the next part, I'm going to have to combine two different surfaces together, and that is mud and snow. And I'm not going to be able to give you guys an accurate rating on either of these because during the 20 plus thousand miles that I put on the Toyo Open Country RT trails, I just didn't have enough time on either mud or snow in order to give you guys an honest rating. In fact, I actively try to avoid both mud and snow anytime that I can. That being said, though, it's inevitable you do come across it from time to time. Like while I was traveling from the Mexican border to the Canadian border all off-road on backcountry discovery routes, which, by the way, if you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that way you can see videos like that that's coming up. During that trip, I did run into some snow in the high mountain passes of Idaho, and I was able to get over it, but I still needed to be winched out, and I really didn't get good traction, even at 8 PSI. But to be fair, nobody got good traction. Anybody that went across that didn't get good traction. They all had to be winched out, and I really had no business doing that mountain pass. It just was an obstacle that I had to get through in order to continue moving forward. Snow, I really can't give you any kind of accurate rating at all. I do not know how the RT trail performs in the snow. When it comes to mud, I was able to drive a little bit on mud. Nothing like a mud bog like what you see down in the southeast or big muddy trails like what you see out in the southeast. But I was able to drive on some mud that was out in the desert here in Arizona after some uh, long rains. Uh, the area gets like a slimy clay sticky mud. You can hear them cleaning. Trying to turn, no turning. Trying to turn here, go off the road. Yeah. Still got decent grip though for, um, like I said, for what it is. Not terrible. Realistically, in that style mud, there's not an all-terrain tire out there that does good. And even your mud terrain tires kind of struggle in that kind of mud. In my experience, i found there is no tire that is good for mud other than a mud terrain tire. And if you're going to be traveling a lot in mud, then you just need to get a mud terrain tire. An all-terrain tire or any tire that's designed to be an all-terrain tire is not going to be the most ideal situation for you. And the Toyo Open Country RT Trail falls into that same category. It is not a mud tire. It cakes up easily. It doesn't clean as well as a mud tire. And you're going to be slipping and sliding in the mud just like you would with any other all-terrain tire, which is the reason that they make mud tires. So... With those two categories said, I can't give you a ranking and I'm not going to add them into the overall ranking of the tire itself. All right, well, we talked about pavement. We talked about deep, loose sand. We talked about dirt and gravel. We talked about rocks and we even touched on mud and snow. Overall, I'm going to have to give the Toyo Open Country RT Trail a 7 out of 10 rating. The on-road performance of the Toyo Open Country RT Trail is awesome. I never had any traction issues on either wet or dry pavement. I never had had any noises it was always a really smooth tire that was easy to keep balance and it didn't have any kind of crazy uneven wear however whenever it comes to off-road performance heavy off-road usage it lacked in durability and it lacked in strength and that is the reason that i'm giving it a 7 out of 10 rating i really think that a lightly off-roaded or typical overland rig would be just fine with the toyo open country rt trail however in my honest opinion i would stick with something like an all-terrain tire or a mud terrain tire if you're going to be doing any kind of serious off-road usage with your vehicle. Well, I hope y'all got some good information out of this video, and hopefully you liked the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and if you want to see more videos like it, or even follow along with the adventures that I go on, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on new videos. Until next time, you guys keep hanging in there like a hair on a biscuit, and remember, you can be happy if you've a mind to. Peace, y'all. Oh, one more thing, everybody always asks on these videos, what's the next tire that I'm gonna be reviewing? So I'll let you know. The next tire I'm gonna be reviewing is the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack RT. So stay tuned for that review. Peace, y'all.